It is today universally accepted that Christianity came to India 2,000 years ago with the arrival of Thomas, one of the apostles of Jesus Christ on the shores of Malabar in present-day Kerala. Arriving around 52 AD, Thomas is believed to have been martyred in the year 72 AD, precisely 19 and a half centuries ago to this day. The Church commemorates his martyrdom on July the 3rd, which is today. This day, therefore, has gone down in history as the day that celebrates the first ever human being in our vast subcontinent to witness by the shedding of his blood to his faith in Christ. This glory goes to St. Thomas, none other than one of the very apostles who were personally groomed by the founder of Christianity, Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago. And precisely a year ago, a new annual day took birth in the history of Christianity in India. Some faith-filled Christians, crossing denominations and sects, came together to celebrate the 3rd of July, the day of the martyrdom of St. Thomas the Apostle, as the annual Indian Christian Day, or Yeshu Bhakti Divas. This first celebration marks also the beginning of a decade to end in the year 2030, the 2000th anniversary of the death of Jesus on the cross. Today, therefore, for the very second time, Indian Christians belonging to all the churches in India and abroad are invited to celebrate together their Indianness and their Christianness. Throughout the 75 years of her life, Mother India has nurtured Indian Christians among her own beloved children, who shone out as members of the First Constituent Assembly, as ministers in central and state governments, as governors, as members of the judiciary and other constitutional organs of the nation, not forgetting countless of them who made the supreme sacrifice of their life, fighting for the integrity of our nation. On this Indian Christian Day, we are all called to celebrate our Christianness by being witnesses of justice, peace and truth, and by showing the world that we are not less Indian than any of our compatriots. And we take justified pride in that. Jai Yeshu, Jai Hind.